once again, my good people. This is the last book in my AP Lit series uh, that I have basically done. My name is still, as it will always be, Nick Pell, and this is once again coming from my great blue room. Uh, this week's book and the last one in the AP Lit series, the last book that I read in class, Much Ado About Nothing. Shakespeare is Much Ado About Nothing. Uh, this book is once again from the Folger Shakespeare Library, as was Hamlet, and then you can also find it in the Riverside Shakespeare as well. It's five acts, I'm not going to tell you how many pages because it was there. Alright, on to characters. Uh, first character is Don Pedro. Don Pedro, uh, he's Prince of Argon, and he is one of the main good guys in this book, or in this play. And, yeah, that's his role. He doesn't have a huge role, but it's huge enough to be included. Um, you got Claudio, who is a friend of Don Pedro. Um, and he travels with him from Argon to uh, the town that the place is set in. Uh, Claudio is also one of the biggest characters in this play because he falls in love with a, a woman named Hero. Hero is the daughter of uh, Leonardo. And upon first sight of Claudio and Hero meeting eyes, um, they instantly fall in love with each other and are very soon after that married. And then Leonardo, as you can probably tell, he's the father of Hero, and basically the leader of the town, mayor, governor, whatever you want to call him. Um, but he seems to be the head of the town. You got Don John. Don John, uh, as played in Ke as played by Keanu Reeves in the movie, is fantastic. Don John is the villain of this play. He basically goes out of his way to make everyone, all the main characters' lives miserable in one way, shape, or form with his lackeys by his, by his side. He's also the brother of Don Pedro, um, which makes their interactions a little interesting. Plus, Don John just recently lost a battle to Don Pedro, which isn't really talked about a whole lot, but it's kind of hinted at uh, within the beginning act of the play. And you have the two funniest characters in the whole play. You got Beatrice and Benedict. Benedict, he is a friend of Don Pedro and comes into the town with him. At the beginning of the play, he has an extreme dislike of uh, Beatrice. Um, and then Beatrice is the niece of uh, Leonardo. And she, like uh, Benedict, has an extreme dislike of Benedict. And these two kind of flirt fight a lot of the time. Um, they'll talk bad about each other, but it seems like it's in fun. Um, but I will get to that more in the plot, which I'm going to start right now. Basically, the plot is this. It starts out with Don Pedro, Don John, uh, Benedict, and Claudio all coming into the town at the same time with each other, uh, having just basically won a great battle. They are treated like heroes. After Leonardo greets them and they exchange the customary welcomes and whatnot, they enter the town where Claudio sees and falls in love instantly with a hero who um, does the exact same thing upon seeing Claudio. And then once they end up together, uh, the others um, decide, just out of fun basically, uh, to try to hook up Benedict and Beatrice, which is hilarious to, to watch and read. And then meanwhile, Don John, uh, being able to roam free around amongst the town, uh, decides to basically try to cause as much unhappiness as possible, and he does so quite effectively in the later acts. And then the story continues from there. So, I'm not going to spell it. So, uh, yeah, read it if you are interested, and don't if you don't. Got some themes in here, too, as always. The difference between sarcasm and witty. This is often seen between the conversations between Benedict and Beatrice. Sometimes they're being sarcastic, and sometimes they're being witty. It's kind of hard to tell sometimes. But this was a theme that my teacher brought up when we discussed the book, so I thought I would include it in here. And it's something to watch for whenever you see Benedict and Beatrice exchange words with each other. Got love versus hate, same deal with uh, Benedict and Beatrice, and also with Claudio and Hero eventually. Um, it's kind of an interesting twist that happens, but watch for those themes as well. Got truth versus lie. I'm not really going to go into this because it would kind of spoil some stuff, but yeah, watch for truth versus lie themes, um, primarily revolving Claudio, Don John, and Hero. And then deception versus reality. This is the same thing with truth versus lie. I'm not going to go into it, but keep it in mind with the same people. And then enjoyment. Now this is the only Shakespeare comedy play that I have actually read. Uh, I know there are a couple more. He does. He hasn't written many uh, comedies, but this is one of his most famous. I very much enjoyed it for what it is. The plot is simple enough to follow, and if you've read other Shakespeare novels, like if you've read um, Othello, which I reviewed, and Hamlet, 
which I reviewed, uh, this book should be, or this play should be pretty simple for you to follow. And as always, uh, with the Shakespeare plays, um, if one is available, watch the Kenneth Branagh version. He does have one for Much Ado About Nothing. It's very well done. It's got, it's got some famous people in it. It's, uh, Keanu Reeves plays Don John, as I said. And he does it very well. Denzel Washington plays, um, Don Pedro in this play, which is kind of interesting. Uh, but he does it very well. Nonetheless, and then House's assistant from the show House, uh, he plays Claudio, and Kenneth Branagh plays um, Benedict, and those I think are the only characters that main that most people will recognize, um, actors to characters wise. So overall, it's a very good play. It's got a good story, interesting characters, basic themes, etc. And yada yada. And it's recommended if you like Shakespeare, if you like Shakespeare's works, once again, or if you like comedies in general. Uh, so, yeah, that's my review. This is the end of the AP Lit um, little uh, series that I've had going. You can watch them all if you so choose to. Uh, it includes, and I'll probably eventually put them in a playlist, it includes Huck Finn, Ezele Dine, Hamlet, Brothers Karamaza, uh, Hard Darkness, Zarba the Greek, and uh, uh, Much Ado About Nothing. So, yeah, those that's the series. Watch them all if you want to. So, yeah, that's it. Um, next book to come out will probably be Crime and Punishment. But, yeah, until next time, my name is Nick Bell. And, as always, keep on reading my good sirs and ladies.